ABP framework provides an authorization system based on the ASP.NET Core's authorization infrastructure. One major feature added on top of the standard authorization infrastructure is the permission system, which allows to define permissions and enable disable per role, user or client. A permission must have a unique name, a string. The best way is to define a constant so we can reuse the permission name. Application contracts project has a permission uh, bookstore permissions class uh, a, a good place uh, to define your permission names. I will just copy the code. I'm defining a class inside the bookstore permissions, name it books, and uh, creating permission names inside it. So the uh, edit uh, permission name will be bookstore.books.edit. So this is a hierarchical way to define books, but actually this is an arbitrary name, so you can uh, set any uh, name as a permission name. The next step is define the permission. Let's define permissions. I want to rename this to bookstore group. Permissions are grouped on the user interface. We will see that. So we have a permission store group for our own application. Then we can create a permission using the add permission method of the group uh, we can specify a name here we are using the same constant defined before we can specify a name which is an optional uh, a display name for the uh, permission we have defining I'm using a prefix for the localization key name like permission books uh, I'm assigning this permission to a variable because I will create uh, child permissions the permission system is hierarchical so you can define child permissions uh, for a permission so uh, you cannot select a child permission or you cannot enable uh, to a child permission without enabling the parent permission so uh, the default permission uh, is for uh, read operations we can specify create edit and delete uh, permissions as child permissions I'm just defining other permissions I will just copy okay we have defined the permissions since we have uh, used uh, permission names uh, permission display names we should localize these names Just localize it. Okay, we have defined the permissions. Let's run the let's run the application and see what happens. L let's log into the application. Go to the role management page. Select the admin role permissions. We can now see a bookstore group uh, on the top uh, top list, and we can grant permissions for the uh, books. As you can see, when we define an, a new permission, it just appears on the user interface. Okay, we have created the permissions now we can use these permissions to authorize the application. 
I want to start from the application service, the book application service. We have inherited from the current app service. Uh, if we had uh, built this application uh, service manually, we could use authorized attributes uh, to uh, authorize the uh, service. But CRUD app service provides shortcuts to uh, set permissions for CRUD operations. Let me show that. In the constructor, we can specify get policy name is bookstore permissions books default. This makes get method authorized for the given permission. We can uh, uh, we should uh, set other policy names too. For example, get this policy is uh, used while uh, getting a list of books. I'm just setting the same uh, permission. Just a similar create policy name is used to uh, use is checked when uh, creating a new book. And for others, update and delete, I can set the permission names. Okay, CRUD app service uh, will uh, check these permissions when the user tries to perform these operations. That's okay. Uh, but it, it's not finished because we should also authorize the page and some buttons on the user interface. Uh, I'm opening the books page oh sorry first of all I will open the bookstore web module and configure the razor page options this is the way how uh, the Razor pages are authorized on the ASP.NET Core. Authorize page books index, and we are specifying the policy. Uh, permission a permission is a special kind of policy. So whenever uh, ASP.NET Core expects a policy we can pass the permission name we can also specify uh, permissions for the create model and edit model dialogues the next step is to hide the uh, new boot button new book button when we uh, when we are on the index page as you can remember user clicks uh, shows a uh, okay let me show on the user interface we have a book uh, new book button on the user interface we should hide this button if the user has no permission for creating a new book. To do that, we can just wrap this button HTML code, uh, button tag helper, uh, by authorization uh, authorization check. First of all, we need to inject the authorization service. Then we can just write an if condition. move this into the block so if a uh, user has granted for the create permission then uh, the button appears otherwise it will be hidden uh, now uh, we can continue with the javascript side to uh, hide edit and delete actions 
if the user has no related permissions. To do that, open the index.javascript file and set a visible, pro visible field to the uh, edit action. In this case, that is granted provides a way to check a policy on the JavaScript site. We can just check the same policy, bookstore.books.edit. We can do the same for the delete. So delete button and edit uh, actions actually uh, are, are not be uh, visible uh, when user has no permission. Finally, we can hide the uh, books menu item from the main menu if user has no permission to the books page. To do that, we open the bookstore menu contributor. Remember that we have added this uh, block before. I am just replacing it. What I have done is that I defined a bookstore menu item, added it to the main menu, and I checked a permission for the books page. If the user has uh, the books page uh, permission, then I added the menu item. In this way, uh, I can check permissions or I uh, can conditionally uh, add items uh, to the main menu. Okay, I am running the application to see the result. I can see the books menu because I have logged into application and can uh, create, edit and delete books. Let me go to the rows page and edit permissions and remove permissions. Now I cannot see the bookstore menu anymore. I'm just re-entering to the uh, permission dialog, grant permission for the book management uh, and editing books, but I don't grant permission for create and delete books. Now I am refreshing the page, I can see the books item on the menu. When I uh, click the menu item, I cannot see a, a add new book button here. And also, I cannot see the delete uh, action in this list. Returning to rules again, setting all the permissions, going to the books full page, I can now see the new book, the new book button, and also delete and edit actions. So all works as expected. We have now authorized the API and user interface. Uh, for the permissions defined.